The members will rise and be led in prayer by Reverend Dr. Robert M. Grant, Jr., Senior Pastor, the Father's Way Church, Warrington. Real common sense laws. I pray that we do not provoke God's anger by making laws that can destroy the fabric of this great state and our wonderful country. God is love, God is merciful, God is holy, and God is also judgment. Please do not provoke his anger and bring wrath upon this state by what you create as law. Biblical history is very clear. His wrath upon the earth is documented. We do not, ex we are not exempt. We are not exempt. If he does not grant us mercy for the atrocities that are being done, we will eventually encounter the judgment of the Almighty God, and may the Lord have mercy upon us all. I pray that you may understand that all life is precious and worthy of a chance to be born. God is the giver of life, and people have no right or authority to take life. The unborn has rights, and those rights need to be protected. They should never be denied the right to exist, the right to develop, or the right to have a family. The word of God has given us a warning. Woe to anyone who harms an innocent child. Every one of you sitting here today can guarantee these rights to these little innocent children of Virginia. They are in their trimasters as we speak. Please do not ignore their little voices. I pray for a heart change today. And may the Lord God have mercy upon this leadership. I pray that this chamber will uphold the Virginia family that the bills and laws being passed will always protect the biblical traditional marriage as God instructed the first man and the first woman in the Bible, that the two shall be one flesh, that a man and a woman shall be fruitful and multiply. We should never rewrite God's, uh, we should never rewrite what God has declared. If a state wants to use God's law, then it needs to be respected. If you're, if it's not yours to change or alter its wording. The Bible is the copyright of God's word. Marriage is, joined a bi marriage is to join a biological male and a biological female in holy matrimony, not to provoke the almighty God. Without laws to protect traditional marriage, Virginia will reduce, be reduced to increase fatherless children and welfare victims and homelessness and tax burden to us all. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. For more than 40 years of my life, I have been a clergy person. I have served congregations, and I've been privileged to offer the prayer in this great house. I will tell you that my heart was hurt today. Because all of us in this house, when someone comes as a guest to this house, and this is no reflection on my colleague, and I want him to know that because he's my friend. But I was hurt as a clergy person to have to listen to what we heard today. It was totally wrong and disrespectful to every member in this house. For when you invite clergy and the clergy who are here today, we are to respect this house. We are to invoke God's presence. We are to ask for his blessings. We are to ask for his protection. We are to ask for his guidance. We are not to give political speeches and to make people feel bad. That is not what a prayer is supposed to do. And over the years that I've been here, on both sides of the aisles, there have been clergy who have not honored the integrity of the request. And it is my sincere hope that as we move forward, 
that we continue to bear the responsibility and say to those whom we invite as guests to come here to honor and to respect this house and all of us who serve here and who serve the people of the Commonwealth of Virginia. Thank you, Madam Speaker.